Hey, this is Carl Brooks, uh, Detroit Love, coming to you with a review of a new case I recently got for one of my arcade boxes. Wanted to make sure it had uh, heat sinks and fans and power where you can switch it off. And so this kit for $17 uh, had everything included, so let's take a look at it. Now you see it's, it's clear, so you can see through it. Is literally nine layers of plastic uh, two layers are black near the top and the bottom uh, you just sandwich them together they sort of fit around the components there and so uh, you know it's like a little project you know it doesn't come together you have to put it together having it to hold together as you layer each piece on you see there you got the heat sink on the bottom came with three heat sinks uh, two for the top and one for the bottom so it sort of sticks through at the bottom but not to the point where it would scratch anything got the little rubber feet so it keeps it elevated off the ground or the tabletop um, you can easily get access to the SD card um, all of the USB pieces plugged in just fine uh, there was only one problem and it was kind of a major problem with the the uh, power cord and the HDMI cord could not plug in so you take a look here it's a thick piece of plastic part of the case one of the layers that butts up right at the base of both the power and the HDMI so I literally had to break a piece of the case off in order to allow room so I'm not sure why they <laughs> say it was designed for that piece uh, you know for the pie and not leave room now HDMI cables do vary in sizes and thickness of of the actual part that um, that comes before the male piece that inserts in so you have to give enough room for varying uh, cores unless you're going to supply well in this case they did supply the power core and that couldn't even plug in um, so that was a little bummer but otherwise I'm happy with the case